Hello everyone, I'm Asif Ali and you're watching CJ How video and today I have created this MOBA game effect in Unreal Engine Niagara. So let's check it out how I created this. First of all, subscribe my YouTube channel and also click on bell icon so you will receive all new video notification. So as you can see, if I pause, this is all mesh that shapes. So this is the effect. And if I just drag my timeline, you can see how it's going. And this effect is looking yellowish here but orange is in here because of my post volume so if i just make it like one you can now see it's without post and i am just using post some color gradient here gradings and some other settings so this is the effect and Unreal just updated so I have this some module errors but you can just ignore this avoid this so I'll just start from this first flower so in this I have this four petal flower that comes from center and it's just becoming a ring and then fades out and if I play here so for this I have this mesh, this disc shape and the UVs are straight and this is my material. This is instance, I'll open my material, this is my material. So I have this texture and if I choose my mesh here in viewport and if I duplicate this texture and preview this this is how it's looking and if i make this styling 4 on x and 1 on y now you can see these petals and i can use pen for the moment and this texture is clamped here that's why it's not repeating so if i make this wrap for now just to show you so now you can see this is panning and minus 0.2 this is how this texture is panning and making this ring shape so basic idea is this and now I'll delete this and make this texture again the same setting oops unreal just crashed I'll just open it again very quickly and first emitter and this is so basic idea is clear what I am doing here now I am panning this texture through dynamic parameter this is the pan on y axis and also using this uh, noise texture for some distortion and distortion value is here in the dynamic parameter then I am multiplying this with a radial ramp and the, the radius and the density parameter is connected to dynamic parameter so I can control this and this is all going to opacity so here I am spawning one particle with 0.2 delay this is mesh renderer and this is the material then life is 2 color is orange and mesh size is 555 Sphere location just to offset 0.2 on Z and then it's all dynamic parameter to pan this and then this is the radius to cut it from center and then it's fading because of density and that's it 
and some weird thing is happening now here because my texture is not saved unreal was crashed so i'll just open my texture again and i hope this time my unreal will not crash so setting was mirror and clamp and i'll just save this and now it will fix here after compiling my shaders now it's not repeating it's just one time then second flower so in this i have this uh, what to say a uh, energy type ring so for this i have again this disk material this mesh and the material is same but you can see i have all things here but i'm also multiplying noise over my this texture and i have this distortion values so i am just using these values here and everything same i am spawning one particle with some delay and life is two color is orange dynamic parameter is to pan to uh, erode this that's it then third is glow this is very light glow here you can see if i increase the alpha alpha is 0 0.05 if i make it 5 now you can see but i'm using very low so it's just to make it feel like this glow you can see it here properly so for this i'm using radi radial ramp and custom alignment so i am aligning this texture on z so spawning some particles on curve 5 particles per second Sp uh, sphere uh, radius 0 and just offsetting on z then aligning on z and sprite are scaling up and color is fading okay then flower 2 in this one same thing as my first emitter just these petals are swirling uh, twisted because my mesh has twisted edges if i show you wireframe can you see this edge is going like this if i open uvs can you see these uvs are going like this so just the mesh uvs is different otherwise material is same and other things all same and then flower again so this is the same but this is fading with this noise texture so the mesh is same in material i have these parameter i am just using this parameter to erode this uh, otherwise all things same then spark so spark shooting from center in omni direction and color is random yellow and orange so for this i am using radial ram very sharp this is the material with 40 density so it making it sharp and then just make some space i'm bursting 50 to 60 random particle with some delay life is random color is random and sphere location 100 radius and velocity from point random strength and some drag over life from 0 to 10 some curl noise for random movement and random strength also here sprites are scaling down over life you can see and color is fading uh, randomly so it has random alpha 0.1 and 1 then again a glow so this time this glow is 3d if i play you can see if i pause this glow is not aligned on z is aligned on every direction this is 3d you can see lots of planers so for this i'm using same radial ram custom alignment and this time i'm aligning on every axis so random axis here and spawning 20 particles life is 1.2 color is yellow random uh, and color is fading out and random axis and spread is scaling up and fading out then again glow so this time this glow is uh, z facing so i duplicate this glow and just make this on z otherwise everything is same then again glow 3 so this time this is 3d glow again but this time sprite size is bigger 
and alpha is very lower then tentacles i have these tentacles see how this is panning on the mesh this is just a texture that panning on the mesh so for this i have this mesh this curved mesh and in material i have some gradients that panning uh, with this dynamic parameter so i am controlling it here and spawning three particle torus location and random uh, oops. i have some error here you can just avoid this uh, ignore these errors because unreal updated so i am using my torus tangent and then this is my rotation so and then color is fading out and dynamic parameter just to pan the texture then again tentacles so these two tentacles are same just little difference the rotation okay so these are again three but this time rotation is different then what so i have this swirl effect on ground so for this using again this disk with twisted uvs and this is the material very simple this is a texture and just spawning six particles random life color is yellow and random mesh size color is fading out and mesh is rotating over life randomly then flower cone so i have this flower cone how is spanning so this is again the same thing that i did in my first just this disk is pinched from the center so in maya i just select these vertices in soft with soft selection and just moved it here otherwise the material is same and the texture is same everything is same so spawning just two particles with one delay and life is one color is orange and uh, rotation on z random and any parameter to pan it to erode this and color is fading out then flower sphere this time it's making it a spherical shape so for this same material but i'm using mesh sphere and with straight uvs and same thing in dynamic parameter i'm panning it and spawning um, spawning one particle some delay panning it here and color is fading out then sparks so these sparks are rotating so for this radial ram sharp one spawning some particle on curve 100 particles and random life random color random sprite size sphere location 400 radius curl noise for random movement and point attractor so these are attracting to the center and vortex of course to rotate these around and color is randomly alpha is random that's it then flower cone so again the same cone but this time panning is inward uh, my previous flower cone was going from edges to center like this but this is playing inwardly so it's from the center is spreading so just the curve is different otherwise same thing then flower cone again again same thing just with some delay 2.2 then tentacle same tentacles but these are just changing the color of our life so here you can see that i have initial color that is yellow but in curve i am making this yellow from 1 to 0 that means black that's it then again tentacle with 
different rotation and then sparks same sparks that I had in the starting so same material spawning 20 to 30 particle random life random color sphere location and velocity from point curl noise and color is randomly applied alpha then again what same word just becoming black this time and it has some delay more delay and you can see i have initial color that is yellow but here color is going down that means it's making it black then spiral so for this spiral i have this mesh this is spiral shape and this is the material very basic I have just this noise that I am cutting with these gradients if I preview I have these gradients multiplying together then multiplying it with noise so I have this and this is panning with this parameter so I am just panning it on my mesh so spawning three particles with some delay random life color is yellow and color is fading out and dynamic parameter to just pan the texture then again the spiral so this time these are yellow and the scaling of these is now different you can see on z it's not much so it's flat that's it and all together it's look like this and here it looks cool i think So that's it. I hope you liked it. If you have any query, just comment below the video and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel CG How. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. Bye bye.